And so in this example, if we plot the points, um, so we'll start to see that the curve is actually a circle, and you, you may remember that this is a unit circle. So actually, we can figure this out by doing cosine squared t plus sine squared t, which we know is equal to 1, which equals x squared plus y squared. So this is actually a circle with a radius of 1 here. And as we start to plot this out, so we're going to work in uh, polar coordinates now. And in polar coordinates, you start on the polar axis and you trace out a circle with your angle theta moving in the, the counterclockwise direction. And so remember that, you know, the graph for cosine starts up here, dips down, heads back up. So this is at zero, uh, crosses this point at pi over two, and then down at its minimum is at pi, crosses here again at three pi over two. You know, this is just, just the unit circle I'm doing here uh, and the graph of cosine. So this is for cosine. And for sine, the graph is starts at zero, then goes up and down, crosses over at pi, and back up again at two pi. So this is zero, it's pi over two. Right here is pi, three pi over two, and back to two pi again. So we're gonna start tracing this out, working with our angle theta. And so cosine of zero is going to be one. So at time equals zero, we start at one for the x axis, or x is equal to one. So this is gonna be one. And then sine, so the y is going to be equal to zero. And then at cosine 2 pi, x is going to be 0, but sine is actually going to be at 1. So we're going to be up here now at pi over 2 is equal to t. And then at pi, we're going to be at So this distance here is pi, so t equals pi. Then as we continue around, we'll get down to here at 3 pi over 2. And then back to 2 pi, we'll end up at this point here. So it's going to happen. I'll try to, it's so hard to do circles. I'll try to graph this. This is a circle. It's supposed to be a circle. It doesn't look much like a circle, but <laughs> I think you get the point. And so this, this is a direction, keep in mind, because uh, parametric equations give us a, a direction and they tell us the time. So it's just going to be traced out this way. And so thus, the points, so the point x, y moves in a unit circle, uh, and the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, so in this case radius is 1, so x squared plus y squared equals 1, and that's just, you know, your simple equation for a circle. And then notice in this case the parameter t can be interpreted as the angle in radians, and as t increases from 0 to 2 pi, the point x, y, so x, y, is equal to function cosine t and sine t. And this moves once around the circle in the counterclockwise direction starting at the point one zero. And then so can consider now if you had say for example x equals sine two t and y equals cosine two t 
Well, you'll, you'll notice we've switched, uh, so x is now sine instead of cosine, y is now cosine instead of sine. So all this is going to do is, because we switched sine and cosine, instead of going counterclockwise now, we'll move in the clockwise direction, because we've swapped the sine and the cosine. And additionally, uh, this 2 here, how that's going to affect it, is instead of just going once around the circle, uh, in the t time from 0 to 2 pi, it's now going to go twice around. So in this case, you would start here and it would loop around in the clockwise direction, and that's because we switched the sine and the cosine, and then because we multiplied t by 2, it'll actually go around twice in that time. Okay, so this is just a, an example to get you used to working in polar coordinates, because uh, we're going to start talking about that more in future videos. Okay, thank you and have an excellent day.